Hey everybody and welcome to After Chat. Welcome back. We are back from our post TempleCon break. You may have recognized this. Well, you may not have recognized this because it's almost identical to our hey, we forgot to record for a month break. Uh, except with a better excuse. Uh, honestly, my other excuse was going to be we had a whole bunch of snowstorms here in New England and that was going to stop me from recording. But my commute is about 15 feet. So the whole calling Ryan up, hey, um, we're not going to record this week. Um, I got stuck in a snowbank uh, around the bathroom. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to go hibernate for three months. Wasn't going to cut it. Ryan, I got a good one for you. What's that? The World Press Photo Contest was held recently. Need my card. I can't get that right. I can't ever remember these things. Um, there are 38 winners in the World Press Photo Contest. Do you know how the cameras broke down that took the pictures? 37 iPhones. Um, well, there might have been 14 iPhones. 23 of them were Canon, and most of those were the 5D Mark III. That's actually not a joke. I just wanted to throw that statistic out there for you. Yeah, good for them. And we're working on our new perspective here. We are now not just focusing on being a purely photography podcast, but a all things content creation podcast. So we're going to start that tonight with our guests, Severn and Wonks, who run a great Twitch stream. We've got them in to talk about doing the live format, doing the Twitch, building an audience. We've got them in here, so let's focus on that. Everybody and welcome to After Chat episode 41. I'm calling this one After Chat After Dark. 41. 41. We've made it through 41. This is uh, we, we we keep referring to it as season three, but it's really kind of a whole new direction for the show. Not just a not just a new season, but a new direction altogether. Uh, I like I like our new chairs too. Beautiful chairs. Beautiful. They're or not, surprisingly they're, resilient. They're resilient, and they're actually a little more comfortable than the other ones. They make a lot less noise. This is the perfect time to break and fall over. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be hysterical. So I figure, I figure one thing that we're not going to take away from the old format uh, is something I just like to do is covering a couple of news headlines each week. Keeps us relevant, keeps us up to date on what's going on. Mm -hmm. Although, since we're not just a photography podcast, we're going to look at we're going to look at photography things because really at our heart we still are photographers and it's what we enjoy. I want to look at some other things going on too yeah. in the world. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, so for some news headlines, uh, museums are beginning to ban selfie sticks. Oh, good. Yeah. Because everywhere should, anyway. Yes, they should. Uh, but it only makes sense since monopods and tripods are already banned in museums. It actually was kind of a surprise that they weren't banned by default. And a lot of uh, European sports stadiums ban selfie sticks because of the security risk, or not security, the safety risk of they pose beating to... Beating someone in the head with them? That too, of, of other people around you. So the Museum of Modern Art in New York has banned selfie sticks to keep you from doing something stupid. Poking things. Well, actually, they're more concerned with people falling off of balconies. They're noticing a trend of people using selfie sticks to get pictures of themselves in very dangerous or very unique pictures. And I guess they're really worried about someone falling off a balcony trying to get that I'm, crazy shot. I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure it has because they wouldn't say they wouldn't have that as their specific reason otherwise. You never know. Um, which I'm glad to see because it might stop people from doing the thing that's much like taking heroin or shooting heroin, you know, taking selfies. Sorry, and you're a Google fanboy. Yeah. You got uh, a couple of tablets, a phone, 30 I don't email have the, addresses. Yeah, broken tablets, not a phone. Yeah. Yeah. I do have so a lot of Gmail. You do have a lot of Gmails. Uh, have you been keeping track of Project Aura? Which one is that? That's the Which one, one of the many stupidly <laughs> crazy sci-fi things is that? This is the one with the uh, phone with the interchangeable parts. Yeah, that's the least interesting one. Continue. Well, yeah, but, but it, it is kind of interesting in that uh, Toshiba is working on a 5 and a 13 megapixel camera that you can interchange on the back. A little cube. Well, it's a little flat yeah. piece, but yeah. yeah. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Kind it's, of, it's somebody supporting it once. That's it. Well, they got Toshiba on board to do that and do the front-facing camera, which they're running at about 2 megapixels. Because hmm. you well, don't need that. Because you really don't, but... And one last piece of news before we, we get into uh, a couple other things here. Um, in film news, rumors are swirling around about the start to filming of Tron 3. <gasps> yeah, I know. You're about as, as no, excited no, I like, about I mean, that I, as... I love Tron. There's nothing about Tron that's not... Okay, well, I, I, 
I just thought it, it was great. Uh, Joseph, uh, I'm going to butcher this name, Joseph Kaczynski? 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 Yeah. Uh, Joseph Kaczynski is uh, is gearing up. They're going to start filming in November. Uh, what's surprising about this is the the development for Tron Three has been really tight at Disney. Like they no leak of it. No one knew anything about it till they started getting the permits. At which point they can't really hide it because it's public yeah. record. Um, I'm excited to see a Tron Three. So that's one of those things. After Big Hero Six being such a leap for technology for them, I'm curious how much of that carries over to Tron. I would be really curious too because. I like Tron too. I mean, I I feel like I'm in the minority there of people who like Tron Legacy, but I I enjoyed it. But I think it they could put a lot more effort into that movie. I think they could have put a lot more effort, but I think for what it was to advance the story the way they needed to right now, I think it worked out really well. Uh, I just hope they don't ever ever show us the CGI Jeff Bridges clue again. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got a couple of toys to open up here that I got in from oh, Adorama, yeah. so I'm going to go grab those I'll real quick. Em. Okay, you want to go get, get them. It. You go get them. I know it's in one box. I don't remember what's in the other. Right. Back. They came in during TempleCon. So uh, right before TempleCon, I had ordered some, some new pieces for the, us to use here in the studio, which I really had hoped would come in before TempleCon, uh, but they didn't. In fact, they showed up. They were actually here waiting at the door when we got back, and um, there's a... Big box. I know what that is. I remember what that is. And there's a bag that came, and I don't remember what else I ordered that came in a bag. So Ryan's pushing the box in here. There we go. It's a. No, I said it's a big box. I'm not kidding. I mean, he's pushing it along the floor. It's it's up in front of his up in front of his chair there. So um, I'd like to start with the bag first because I don't remember what's in the bag. Let's see what's in this bag. I'll start this and then and hand it to me. Okay, I'm gonna put the cards down. There's no need for the cards anymore. All right. What did I order? Oh, I remember now. This is like Christmas. So many buildups. <laughs> Giant ass a clamps. <laughs> Giant. Those are pretty good. I got four of them. I thought I. I don't, I don't even remember ordering these, so the fact that we have you four of them. You bought four? I bought four no. giant ass A-clamps. Those are good. I'm going to stop yelling. Yelling is bad. Uh, well, it says I ordered two three-inch clamps and two two-inch clamps. So, okay. So, giant. Okay, giant and less giant. Oh, yeah, giant and then normal. Giant and normal. Why did I order giant? I think the threes are what I thought were normal and twos were smaller. I don't know. Here. So we, we've got clamps. Oh, yeah. we got to open this up. This really is like Christmas, because I'm excited to have this. This is what I really wanted to come before TempleCon. Right, they had to cut two boxes together to be able to ship it. So It is it is creatively packaged. I will give them that. They're good at it, though. Well, it's someone who takes pride in what they do as a box person. Them and borrow lenses. They, they package very well, too. Oh, yeah. Not with the knife. Give me the knife. There, you can have the knife. It's just bags, damn it. <laughs> All right. This should be. There it is. Buried way under here. There it is. There, there. There's a box on the floor now. It's a, uh, actually an oversized light bag stand because we bought new light stands uh, yeah. over, the, over the last couple of months. Nice. They're actually taller and bigger because they're more sturdy. That's a heavy duty it's a, got a heavy duty zipper. I like that it's got the hard back so it stays flat, has big wheels on it on this end. Well, they're not huge wheels, but it was they're inspected they're, by three. It was inspected by number three. That's not Hermes, is it? Hermes is number five, right? Yeah. So, um, so we've got a, a new light stand bag, which I'm excited about. Should be able to let us carry, because carrying those things is a pain in the ass yeah, when you're trying to get to an on-site job. So that's our gear. It's uh, we'll, we'll do a it's review a of this bag. later, but it's a big rolly bag. Nice. It's a nice big heavy-duty rolly bag from Adorama. Uh, I'm really excited to have it. I know most people would probably be like, "It's a big rolly bag. Who cares?" It's like getting new luggage, but but now we can drag stuff instead of carry stuff. So that's our gear for this week.
uh, and probably our gear for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, I don't plan on buying much gear right That's now. Wrapping until, some of the boxes. Uh, yeah. So uh, after this, uh, we're, we're going to uh, cut away for a second. And when we come back, we'll be back with Severin and Wonks talking about Twitch. I'm excited about Twitch. Me too. All right. It'll be a lot of fun. Okay. Oh, there's two chickens. Fuck those chickens. The war. Chicken meal. Oh, watch it. Sorry, guard. Read close. <laughs> I've absorbed its chicken soul. Your soul has been absorbed, chicken. Your soul. Does that mean we're going to start walking around mine. with Lucky? Because that might be a problem. Our <laughs> Wario from Mario. <laughs> Can you be Wario from Mario? Waluigi. <laughs> Waluigi. <laughs> All right. So everybody, our guests today are Severn and Wonks from Twitch. They are apparently very nervous about being here, judging by the... No, that's, yeah. that's just me. <laughs> no, that's just Wonks. That's just Wonks. So in, in, our, in our new format, we are not our new format, but our new style where we're going to talk a lot more about content creation than just photography, uh, one of the first things we want to do is get some people in who put themselves out on the line pretty much every night. Every night. Because you guys do it live. Yeah. Yeah. So. Is this recording we're doing? This is, this is recording. It's a, it's a little different, isn't it? It's a little different. We can stop and, and change things. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> I'm not changing anything. <laughs> <laughs> the real reason I want to get you guys in here is to talk a little bit about what you guys are doing on Twitch and a little bit about how you got started. And actually, the very first question should be, uh, what is Twitch for people out there that don't really know what Twitch is? Well, Twitch is basically... Uh, a, a video service website, if you want to call it that. It's sort of like YouTube, where YouTube you know, has videos, but where on YouTube, it's all recorded. This strange recording thing. Uh, Twitch is all live. It's all live streaming. Uh, it started all as video game streaming. Um, so video game casters will play, and they'll play video games and talk about it and usually review it or just screw around and just have fun. And then people uh, can interact and have live chat. An array of interesting characters will definitely join your chat and try to have a conversation with you. And sometimes it's awesome. Other times you're just like, okay, no, go ahead. You're gone, man. Please go away. <laughs> Please. You can't click fast enough. You're just like, oh, God. <laughs> so so why did you guys pick Twitch as opposed to just like recording videos of playing and posting them on YouTube? We should do a backstory here. <laughs> okay. So what we really needed was to spend more time together doing stuff that we both liked. So Severin's like, how funny would it be if we started streaming video games and you could learn to play video games as we're streaming? And this was like just five months ago that we started doing this. So we were kind of looking around different options. We gave it a go a couple times with like, we did like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back in time, Mario Kart, like just a whole bunch of old school like NES and SNES games. Just, kind of, just kind of feeling it out <laughs> with, with, with what we had to start with. Like those are the games we... The only, the only games we could play based on the equipment that we had. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which was just a laptop. Yeah. And we, and we did look around at different things. Like, we checked out. Uh, we were looking at Hitbox. We were looking at just doing the YouTube with making them. But that was That's such a time our, process. We want to do it. It's just... That was our first real foray was we were... I, I introduced uh, Wonks to Unturned. And so we kind of clipped yeah. together a YouTube video and, and it... The people on the Unturned Reddit loved it. All right. Uh, on the Unturned Reddit loved it just because it was it was essentially three minutes of wonk screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you guys don't just stream one game. I've seen a lot of Twitch people, a lot of Twitch players, you go and you see they just stream one game. Like they just stream Diablo or they just stream Eve or, or whatever else. But you guys don't do that. Uh, where, you know, you can go and you see somebody who plays this one game so much. And I love a lot of these, like a lot of the Minecraft streamers. They just, they all they ever do is that. But they are so good at it because they've spent thousands of hours playing this game that they're just like, they can build these amazing things and just know how all this stuff, all the redstone and everything and all these circuitry and everything. And you just watch them for 15 minutes and you can't help but learn stuff. Yeah. And that's brilliant. Like, then you're, you're watching experts do this thing. Uh, and then you also have the the the, the streamers who are... Variety streamers, and that's how we classify ourselves as variety streamers. We're going to play games as they come out, games that we like, games that we're interested in. Uh, you know, we're going to kind of people want us to play. Also, like if people are like, "You guys should really play this game," and they're like, "All right, we'll give it a go." You know, right. yeah. and then we can we can kind of 
keep it constantly moving. So you, you pick up, you go, you play a new game, you find a couple of new viewers who are all interested and enjoy, you know, oh wow, this is really cool. They would have never found us if we were only ever playing one game. Um, that being said, we do, I, for example, play a lot of Minecraft. I have a dedicated time where this is where I play Minecraft. And then other times we'll do variety things because I, actually, I thoroughly enjoy playing Minecraft, regardless mm. of streaming it or not. So, so what prompted the road to a billion followers? The road to a billion followers is it, a joke. I mean, well, I mean, well, no, no, no. It's, it's no, totally legit. We'll totally get it, guys, someday. <laughs> believe. Hashtag believe. Uh, the <laughs> road to a billion followers. Yeah, if, if give away every and, 10 million. Right. And so basically, a lot, of, a lot of streamers will say, every time they're looking for a major milestone, so like, oh, okay, I'm going to have 500 followers. I'm going to have 1,000 followers. You, you know, 10,000 followers, what have you. Whatever level you happen to be at. 25. <laughs> I would be happy when I was 25. <laughs> <laughs> They'll do road to whatever, yep. whatever that is, whatever their current goal is. They, they, and it's always called the road to that. And so I just thought it, it would be funny just to do road to a billion followers because obviously there's not even a billion users on <laughs> Twitch. It's, we're talking about, you know, a seventh of the world's population. It's a little ridiculous. And people would be like, you know, why, why isn't the road to a trillion followers? And it's like, hey, look, we're trying to be realistic here. Let's, <laughs> let's not just, you know, whatever. So, and then we jokingly say that it is a giveaway every 10 million because people read that and they're just, what are these people on about? And they want to come find out. It's unbelievable how many people just come in and laugh and be like, don't you think a billion is a little much? No. <laughs> I don't think that at all. It's totally legit. We're going to get it. So what's in the future for you guys? I mean, a yeah. billion followers. Well, well a billion <laughs> followers, obviously. <laughs> uh, well, we want to branch out. We want to do, we would love to do uh, like a D&D &D stream. We would love to integrate in board gaming um, streams. Uh, it's all figuring out setup and exactly how to do that. I can imagine that's tricky. Yeah, that, that's, that's, like a, we've, we've that's got a pain a in the butt. Of, <laughs> we have a lot of different kind of things that we'd like to try out um, and such. It's just we've been mainly just kind of stabilizing, getting our equipment upgraded. And, but yeah. we've, we've got lots of plans. We, we want to we do, we ha our, um, our creativity is bigger than our budget. How's yep. that? Well, um, I, I understand that yeah. fully. I, mean, I think that's on our T-shirt. <laughs> I, I, I think that might be on our T-shirt when I finally get them. Get, get them I in. heard we're getting T-shirts. You guys are getting T-shirts as so soon as they excited. come in. <laughs> nice. So, but um, <laughs> as soon as you have the budget. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the um, we have a lot of things that we really want to do. Um, it's tough, you know, working full time and then try and then coming back and being like, I want to stream. I don't want to spend a half an hour trying to set up this new. You know, uh, you know, a new scene in, in OBS, which is the broadcasting yeah. software that we use. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spend another half an hour actually moving this stuff around, actually getting that to work. Now let's get a new overlay. It's just like, no, I just want to stream. Just hit the button and go. <laughs> you know, so it's tough uh, with that. I would like to think, like I said, the dreams being bigger than the budget is like to go full time would be amazing. That we are nowhere near that. <laughs> I have nowhere near that. But you, to go but full you, time would be... I get to be closer to that when both kids are in school next year. <laughs> <laughs> but. If I wake up in time. All right. One last question, then I'll, let, then I'll be done with you guys. <laughs> uh, what's the worst thing either you've done on stream or you've seen someone else do on stream that you just like, please, God, dear God, never, ever do that again? I'm out of this. And I remember, I didn't see this live, but I ended up seeing it later, where it was, you know, to watch it, you're just like, like... Just whoa! You're like you're like half stuck between like just shock and laughter. But a guy, he was playing RuneScape and he got some ultra rare. I don't play RuneScape, so I don't really know. Yep. Some ultra rare item after farming for like like 24 hours straight, he finally got it. He starts jumping up and down and he ends up fainting because he just literally like, he sits back down. And he's like he's like I don't I don't I don't feel good. My my heart's like you know and just like literally boom just down on the floor and like a minute later finally kind of comes back too and he's just like still on camera and trying to figure and I'm just like okay that's humorous and that is some entertaining live entertainment. I, I would love to have seen what their chat what his chat was like. <laughs> Did he died? <laughs> But at the same time, it's just like, uh, did you do that to yourself? You know, that's um. So, you guys want to? Uh... Do you want me to do my my thing? Yes, do your <gasps> do, do oh your. Oh my rap. god, I'm gonna do my thing. All right, we are Severn and Wonks. We stream Sunday through Thursday, <laughs> 8 p.m. to midnight. We do weekdays with Wonks, Tuesdays to Thursdays from 12:30 to 2:30.
Severn does Severn's breakfast cereal weekly, 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And we also do random weekend hours. So give us a follow. A Come check them. us out. It's a great time, I promise. It's twitch.tv slash Severn and Wonks. S-E-V-E-R-N-A-N-D-W-O-N-K-S. Oh, yeah. He's Severn. <laughs> I'm Wonks. <laughs> Thanks for letting us come play. You're yes. welcome. And, awesome and I'll fun. put links to all your stuff down underneath your Twitter, your your Facebook, t- Facebook your Twitch, mm-hmm. your... You guys have YouTube. a YouTube. Uh, we do have a little yeah. YouTube. That was little. what we were talking about before, like yeah. Yeah, YouTube. It's like we're recording everything so we can go through and edit it and go on YouTube, and then we're just like... Someday. That took two hours <laughs> to do that half an hour long and, clip. <laughs> and I don't know how to do it, so that's why yeah. I'm like, I could do it, but I'm like, but I don't know how. Yeah, if you don't love editing, it's no. it, it's painful. I, I love editing, so... I don't, so this works out perfectly. I'm going to start shipping everything to you. I'm just going to be like, here you go. <laughs> they expect some bills. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Castle Productions loves making money that way. <laughs>